way to the garage out there. Everyone on the cruise, all the spotters, all the crew chiefs. And it gives me a pleasure to say this. Gentlemen, start your engines! What's up guys, we are here at, for the BK, have it your way nationwide series here at, uh, we are here for Chase Race, number five, we're halfway through the BK, have it your way nationwide series, season two, um, season, and, um, we're Dylan Poti starting, okay, he's, He's starting. He's starting near the top ten. He's not there yet, but he's in. He's in the new paint scheme, by the way, people. And he needs to have a good finish here. If he doesn't, then his championship hopes are bleak. And, but anyway, Danny Wells is trying to get back up to the points lead after he had two terrible races. And there they go. They're three wide already. There goes Dylan Pote behind Connor Kellis. And Alex Filter, the points leader, doesn't need to be on the high side. Oh shit, no baby. I get on my ass. Huh? Yeah, so they're going three wide right now. Sorry if my voice is kind of, you know, not as enthusiastic. But anyway, there goes Dylan Poti. Dylan Poti trying to race his way up into the top. Damn, we got a crash. Oh, somebody else got around. Seth Cole almost got around right there. Oh, oh, Trent. Oh, he saved it, though. But caution is out for something else. I think, oh, we got Yoshi McMurray in the wall, and he's a chaser. And if he had, and he's really riding the wall right now. But caution is not out yet. Anyways, there's Dylan Poti. Dylan Poti is really coming through the field right now. He's he started outside the top ten, and he's sitting up there in the to, uh, t top ten right now. And there goes Danny Wood down, down. Oh, we got a crash. There it is. Ryan Cooper went around. And oh, Dougie Shears hard into the wall. So, caution is out. And we will, we will show you what the caution came off for. That's Dougie Shears and Ryan, oh, Ryan Cooper. I believe Dougie Shears hit Ryan Cooper. And Ryan Cooper, this is... This is probably his race, chase race ending championship hopes right here. Tough break for Ryan Cooper. Alright, man. Is it a coincidence that a Dawson car gets into a Poteet car? As Ryan Cooper gets turned around by none other than Michael Dawson. <laughs> oh, my God. The Dawson and Poteet rivalry continues with Ryan Cooper getting turned around. And then, I believe it's going to be... Ooh, no, Sasha Dawson comes in. Oh, right there, yeah. Yeah, Sasha Dawson comes in, clips him, and then the 18 gets um collected in as well. As well as Sasha Dawson. And Dylan Poti gets... I mean, not Dylan Poti, Sasha Dawson and Ryan Cooper get together. And we'll take another look at it. Alright, this angle should tell tell the story right here because... Michael Dawson just gets into Ryan Cooper and just turns him. Michael da <laughs> the Dawson and Poteet rivalry just continues, man. And Ryan Cooper is just going to come up here. And Sasha Dawson and Dougie Shears is going to get a piece of him. Right there. Ooh. And then Sasha Dawson goes up into Dougie Shears. And they both get into the wall right there. Hard licks for Sasha Dawson and Dougie Shears. They're both done for the day, probably. I know Sasha Dawson and Ryan Cooper, I don't know about Dougie Shears, but we'll take you to the green flag. 
Alright guys, Pichu London is leading this race. He's trying to get his first season win. And I mean he's he's had like one of the he's had like the one of the premier cars in this series. But he's just not had the luck. And he's just not had the luck to miss all the wrecks this season. But he he has a great car to run up in the front and I believe Rusty Wallace Rusty Wallace Racing will probably sign him to another contract next season so he he's trying to get a win to you know make his season a little bit more better but he could have got a he could have got his first win at um Montreal but we all know what happened there he kinda he kinda does not want to talk about that race that race really you know kinda pissed him off so so we are about to Take the green flag here again. As Pichu London leads this race, as we're lap eight of twenty right now. Here comes here comes Wayne Jackson. Wayne Jackson gonna take it on the outside. He's gonna be followed by none other than John Dawson. John Dawson. John Dawson has been having some great races in that 32. He's one of the Dawsons that really, you know, keeps it cool and doesn't really wreck anybody. So I don't know about it. oh, and we got another wreck back there. Oh, and I don't know. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, Dylan Putti's right up in that mess, and he missed it. We had another crash over there. Bill Raymond and Danny Wells has lost the lead, and the leader coming down to this thing is Wayne Jackson, getting pushed by Seth Cole. Seth Cole's all over. Oh my God, another wreck just happened. Oh! Oh, and Michael Dawson and Karma's a bitch again. Michael Dawson gets wrecked. Oh my God, we gotta have to go all over this again. Oh my God, and Dylan Poti. Wait, he's in t a 13th spot. He do he dodged all of that. He might he might have a chance to get back up in this championship today. Oh my goodness. As they're coming down pit road. And <laughs> it looks like Dylan Poti's got oh I don't know if he could come down this time. Anyway, we'll take it we'll take it um he's probably yeah, he's coming down this time. No he's not. Uh we'll take a look at everything that just happened. Alright guys, it looked like it looked like a lot of people's cars were going away from him here. And there, there go, there goes, um, there it goes right there. You see Levi Scones getting in the wall, and then there, there he goes, and he collect uh, Cody Lamas and Daniel Schwab and Connor Kellis again. This is really gonna take him out of the championship punt. And Levi Scones is in trouble. And then we had another wreck back here. The O ones in the wall. Oh, he gets Bill Raymond. Bill Raymond's involved in that, and Connor Breton and Dougie Shears again. And then there's another wreck up here with the 82 of Matthew McMurray and the 21. And look at Dylan Pote slicing his way through this crap. And we got something else to show you. Alright guys, we got something else to show you. This is coming to the line. And watch Dylan Pote in that two car. He does a great job missing this wreck. And then right here, Trent Dunham gets turned right there. The 22 comes down on him. Cement blocks him. And then the 9 of Bob Marshall has nowhere to go. And look at the 24, Dakota Erickson, Thread the Needle, Skylar Harris involved, uh, Danny Wells, the 62 was involved in that. Um, oh, Yoshi McMurray goes in the Barney Ward and Skylar Harris. And then this is not the end of it. Watch Michael Dawson. Boom! Right there. And Dougie Shears. I believe somebody else got a piece of that. It's just a whole big melee. Oh, and Connor Breton's running through there. Yo, he almost got a piece and we'll take it to the green flag. And let's talk let's talk about this fifteen man. I'm, that fifteen had a run on the outside coming, you know, he's he's coming real fast. And that that seven car of Wayne Jackson, I don't know where he's at. He, yeah, he's right here and he he, he he didn't have a great pit stop. But he was Seth Cole was coming. I don't know if he took a pit stop earlier. 
took some pitch strategy, but his car was really getting it through the corners. And he got right there on Wayne Jackson and pushed him like they were at Talladega with the two-car tandem. And he almost wrecked him <laughs> coming to the line. That was so funny. Here comes Dylan Pote. Dylan Pote. I don't know if he came down for a pit stop. But anyway, here we go again. They're going to start going three wide again. The wrecked car is back here. Levi Scones back here. Actually, Levi Scones could not lose any points if he could finish in the top 15. But Dylan Pote sitting up here racing with Dakota Erickson. Dakota Erickson, I know he wants to win real bad. Here he comes on the inside. And then, oh, oh, the Ford got real loose right there. And here comes Dylan Pote through the middle. And Dylan Pote is going to be good because he's on the bottom of the racetrack right now. And Caution's already out. Oh, Dougie Shears again. And it looks like it's only him. Everybody else is good. And Levi Scones. Levi Scones is in the top 15 right now. He got wrecked early in the race. And there's Dylan Pote right up there in fourth. As the caution comes out. Seth, Seth Cole is actually going away from him right there. Like I said, his car really has nice grip. So, we'll take you to the caution flag. Oh boy, Joe Gibbs is not going to be happy about this. Because uh, watch what happens. The 11 of Jordan Hetzer gets into his teammate Dougie Shears. And Dougie Shears is going to get almost get into the other Joe Gibbs car, Daniel Schwab. And we're going to take another look at that. Back that up a little bit. Take another look at it. So I don't usually do this that often. But anyway, the 18 of Dougie Shears just gets turned by Jordan Hetzer. I don't know what Jordan Hetzer was doing. If he ain't hit the brakes or nothing, I don't know what the hell he was doing, but he just turned his teammate right there. And that just makes Dougie Shears' day even more miserable. So, take it to the green flag. Alright guys, a lot of guys that took some pitch strategy, they're actually getting the caution laps they want right now. Because the caution laps, you know, they could, they could ease up on the car during the caution and save up on their tires and don't. Don't really try to run it too hard on, under caution, you know. Just, you know, wave back and forth, you know, to get the trash off your tires. Because the restarts could be really harsh here. And if if you got trash on your tires, it could really mess up your speed and really cause a wreck. And you don't want to do that in the late stages of these races. So, Seth Cole really has the best car here right now. He's trying to go for his third win. And he's trying to go for his second win in a row, actually, so... He's having a great season in that 15 car, and, I, and, and he's, definite, he's definitely the rookie of the year. Seth Cole is definitely the rookie of the year, I have to say. In this car right here, he's definitely the rookie of the year. The rookie, he's one of the only rookies to make it into the chase and win races, and win a race in the chase and trying to go for a championship in his first season. As here, here comes Dylan Pote. Dylan Pote to the outside. Dude, these caution laps is really helping him. But I don't know if he could get up there in time. As, the, as we'll take a look through the back of the pack. Everything looks good right now. But they're bunching up right here. Oh, 20. Oh, the 20. Oh, the 9. There it is. The 81 got to. Oh, he saved it. Oh. Oh, and Seth Cole is slowing up. And they're about to take the they're about to take lot 19 right now. And Seth Cole is slowing. Wayne Jackson takes the lead. And there goes Pichu London and Dylan Pote slowing up as well. This is not good for Dylan. If he finishes outside the top 15, he's gonna have a, a bad points day. But Seth Cole is out of fuel. He is out of fuel or something is wrong with that 15 car. These guys, these guys are having problems right now. And look at Jordan Hetzer. Oh! 66 in the wall. A caution not out. Yes, it is. And Wayne Jackson will come across and win here at Chicago Land. And he'll probably take the points lead. And Pichu London. And look at Sam Ed. Sam Ed does. I think he. I think he did good here last time we were here at um, Chicago Land, and now bring him up in the points. And then, and then, and then Dylan Pote, Dylan Pote finished tenth. 
out of all that. I don't know how the hell he finished 10th. He got some damage in the late stages of the race, but hey, he'll take it. He'll move up in points. And Seth Cole, Seth Cole actually, his tires weighed a little bit more than I thought, and he actually fell to the back at the end of that race. He, he had the race in hand, but something happened to his car, and, you know, that's that's what happens. And Pat Acosta, he just be coming out of nowhere sometimes, and he finishes fourth. Banged up car he had today. Banged the wall like a couple of times. And Peachy London almost had it, but Wayne Jackson got too much of a lead when he took the lead away from Seth Cole, and nobody could get to him. So, congratulations to Wayne Jackson. Nobody could get to him. As Peachy London was trying. But we'll take a look at the costume for life. Alright guys, we're gonna start out with this. Watch this. The 66 of Mr. Cobbler's one gets turned right there by Trent, and then the 16 was just hauling Mayo and gets right into him right there. And Danny Wells, this is gonna hurt both of their chases, and I don't think that's the end. Somebody else is gonna hit him. Ooh, everybody missed him. But anyway, we'll take a look at something else that just happened. Okay, guys, the racing was so crazy coming to the line to get spots to you make sure you get up in the chase and all that stuff. Dylan Poteen and his new paint scheme ran pretty good today until this. The 24 just came up out of nowhere and came up. And this is the biggest Jeff Gordon reenactment right now. They lift the 24 car. And it's the 24. <laughs> and, he, and the 24 car is going to go flipping. <laughs> Oh my god, this is the biggest Jeff Gordon reenactment, but it's the 24 from the Nationwide series. <laughs> wow, let me see that. Let's see that again. Two, where two cars were right near Jeff Gordon when Jeff Gordon flipped and he, he got lifted off the ground. And Jeff, this is the same thing that happened, actually. Je Jeff Gordon came up the racetrack like that, same as Dakota Erickson did. And they go up into the wall, and the 16 and the 2 are going to lift the 24 up off the ground. And then they're gonna, and the 24 is going to barrel roll. And Dylan Pote and Connor Kelly is getting involved, but they both get good finishes. But Dakota Erickson will not. So he goes barrel rolling, just like Jeff Gordon. That's the Bud Shootout reenactment right there. And I wasn't even trying to do that. <laughs> that just happened. And 24 is sitting up there. Just like the way he was in the bus shootout. Just the difference is that 24 is upside. Up right. I take it. Take another look at that. Man, that was crazy. Take a look from it from right here. TV2. And Dakota Erickson just comes up. It's just like Jeff Gordon's wreck, man. Tch, just like it. And then they lift them lift the 24 car up. And the 24 is gonna go flipping. Just like, just like Jeff Gordon, oh my goodness. <laughs> just like Jeff Gordon, man. <laughs> and that was the big wreck that happened at the end of the race. And we'll see for the standings as congratulations to Wayne Jackson. What an ending to a crazy ass race this was. Alright guys, how did you like that Jeff Gordon reenactment with the 24 of uh, Dakota Erickson? I wasn't even trying to do that. How fun, how cool was that? That just happened. I ain't even trying to do that. That just happened. It looked just almost just like the Jeff Gordon butt shootout. <laughs> but anyway, Wayne Jackson wins, it wins his second race of the season. But the first race had to give credit to Kim Possible. Wayne Jackson got up into this car, got into the chase. And now look at him. Could probably win the championship for Junior Motorsports. And there goes Sam and Oscon Peach up. Uh, Pat Acosta and Dylan Pote gets a top 10 just as he needed to get out of the slump he had last week at Richmond. So, good job for Dylan Pote. He could probably, probably gain up in the chase right now. And who knows, probably win the championship. It's anybody's championship right now. Skylar Harris, Barney Ward, Yoshi McMurray, Bill Raymond, Sasha Dawson, Ryan Cooper. A lot of these guys in trouble again. And, um, there's your, there's your results. Trent Dunham comes with the 14 place, and he was involved in like two big ones in this race. Wow. Um, and, here's just, and yeah, so we'll show you the points from the chasers. And thanks for watching. This was a crazy, crazy, crazy race. This is like one of the best races in my season, too, I would have to say.
great racing all around. So see you, see you next race.